whose responsibility is it to water trees? So this is getting to the crux of the issue for us. So lots of trees are getting planted around London, just as they are in urban spaces all over the world where climate change mitigation is of paramount importance. So when newly planted trees are put in, in the ground just below the tarmac, they're basically planted in dirt. So this layer that is below the tarmac is like sand really, it doesn't hold a lot of water. And they need a lot of constant watering so they can develop the root system that allows them to grow down into the more well hydrated soil. You can imagine the logistical impossibility or impracticality of having massive tanks of water being driven all over London, all over cities, multiple times a day, all the while, while these trees that are being planted right on our streets are surrounded by people. People who can just empty the last of their bottle of water as they walk past or use their old washing up water that's left over or literally to choose their bath water. So we have carefully designed our module to give students the opportunity to put into practice the skill set and the knowledge that they've gained in the first year and in the second year of their psychology studies. It's really great for them to see the impact and importance of their knowledge and their skill set. And I also hope that they enjoy doing their bit to make the world a little bit of a better place.